Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mitch Wilkeson. I'm the digital content coordinator here at Funky Buddha Brewery. I'm gonna be showing you guys around our beer factory, everything we do here from brewing the beer to barrel aging to bottling and much more. All right, so yeah, this is our brew house. This is where all the magic happens. We're brewing on a 30 barrel system. We brew here 24 hours a day. Usually throughout the year, we'll be doing around 35, uh, 40,000 barrels. That's around 15 million pints a year. Um, so right over here, we have the brew house. That's where we mash in all the grains. You know, it's kind of like steeping it like tea. So once that process is done, we transfer the liquid over into the boil kettle, boil it for about an hour and add the hops. So the hops is where you get all that bitterness, flavor and aroma for the beer. And that process usually takes about an hour as well. So this is like the area that we keep like all of our extra grains and also uh, a lot of our kind of like what's called specialty malts. So basically, I don't know if you guys walked out, like when you're walking up front, do you see that giant white silo looking thing? So that's where we keep all of our base grain. Our base grain is called Pilsner malt. You don't really get a lot of flavor or color from that. Basically, that's just for like the sugar and the enzymes. But all this other stuff is kind of like the specialty malts that we use in our beers. Like this over here is like chocolate malt. So if you ever had like the maple bacon coffee porter or any of our imperial stouts or anything like that, we add a little bit of the chocolate malts and that's what kind of gives that dark uh, color and that roasty like chocolatey flavor. Yo, yo. Yeah, so this place is a lot bigger than most people think it is. It's like, just keeps going and going, dude. So this is the lab. This is where things get real sciency. So now, what do we do over here? Hi, my name is Anat. I'm the quality control lab lead here, and we are in charge of making sure that the beer goes to the market um, in perfect consistency with our specs. Um, we measure pH, gravity, ABV, IBU, and SRM. So we make sure that our yeast is the most vital as possible to make sure that we can use it in the other batches. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a quality assurance lab tech here at Funky Buddha. I'm in charge of collecting a lot of our samples for our day-to-day -day testing and monitoring. The biggest thing I look for is the sugar content of our beer. The less sugar the beer has, the older it is. Once the beer is finished aging in our fermentation tanks, we hand it over to the seller and to the packaging departments. So, you know, once it's packaged, carbonated up, packaged, ready to go, we stick it in here, keep it cool, and then boom, off to the trucks. Over to you guys. Our uh, founder and uh, head brewer, Ryan Sense. So he kind of develops most of the recipes. Some of our other brewers will have great ideas and try out their stuff as well, but it's mostly him kind of just coming up with all these crazy ideas. We started as a small T-bar, hookah lounge. We're fortunate enough when we opened up the lounge that there wasn't a whole lot of places to get beer brewed locally. What got me interested in, in beer specifically was I did feel like it was kind of a, a, like a blank slate and that a lot of people weren't exploring. You know, there was obviously hops and yeast and grains and water, but there was no reason why you couldn't add these flavors that people were doing in whether it was liqueurs or coffee drinks or, so to me it just, it was exciting to, to see that this was something that we could do and hopefully do well and it wasn't being done. We started brewing in 2010. At the beginning I, I brewed stuff that I thought was exciting that I would like to see out when I was at a beer festival. I was a guy trading beers, I was a guy going to the beer festivals all over the country. So we got some excitement, we were named best craft beer bar um, and even then brewing on a 30 gallon system, we started getting some national recognition. So started going to festivals all over the, the country. We were asked to go to some internationally. And at that time, um, I came to my brother and said, we should try to do this on a bigger scale. We started the brewery in 2013. I think part of our success was based on the timing because there was no one else down here. So we, we people were paying a lot of attention to us. Um, and then again, fortunately, we, we made good enough beer to, to keep on growing, but it was, it was based on us thinking, trying to fill a need, but never did we think that we were timing this right before the big boom. So for us, it's exciting. I mean, me and my brother, we grew up in South Florida all our lives. So for us to be able to partner up with locally owned businesses like ABC, uh, means a lot to us. It means, uh, it's a big part of what we do. Um, and they've been great partners every step of the way.